that we do at um, Be Well. We do a lot of body work. We release the body, and we are holding space for, if it's emotions that are coming up, um, we hold space for that as well. So this comes down to a process here, a system of noticing and becoming aware of emotions, limiting decisions, limiting beliefs, those things come up when we work with the body and when we're aware of them and when you have someone skilled with you who's trained to help you, to hold space for this. And then also taking inspired action, which means practices. So we haven't really talked about it much today, but all the practices that you're going to hear more about this weekend, meditation, yoga, breath work, Hakomi, working with someone who is skilled in helping you to have some depth and to help move some of the emotions. Tasks. So in the work we do in the coaching, you might get tasks like um, speak your truth, um, do the thing you've been avoiding, clean your closet, <laughs> apologize, you know, it could be anything. So all of these things actually move this energy in the body and what we've released with working on the body and with your awareness, you actually get to imprint new behaviors. Because we can release it all, right? Release it all, release it all, release it all. And then we go back and it's like, oh, why is that thing happening again? Because we didn't replace the old information. So your nervous system, your unconscious mind needs to be trained and it needs repetition. So you're giving tasks, you're doing your practices. All of those things are changing your neurology. And then it's important to focus on what you want. That's the part I skipped for a long time. Did all the releasing, the, the processing, and then I'd go do it again. Releasing and processing, do it again, releasing. So focusing on what you want is very, very important because, again, we open up the space. So we're, call it, occupying the space that we've created and replacing that because when we make the space in there, if you don't intentionally replace it, and this is also what Caroline and Lillian do at the Center for Heart Mind Coherence, it's like giving you specific things to fill that space. Because if we don't do it, guess what? Default, autopilot, the buttons. Okay. So if it were a garden, we'd need to pull the weeds, right? Till the soil, especially here in Austin, you gotta put all kinds of goodies in the soil, right? Does anybody here garden? You have to put all kinds of goodies in the soil. And then you got to plant the seeds, and you need to pay attention and water and fertilize and sunlight regularly. And so this brings us to one of my favorite.